Hey guys, it's Cowboy Bricks. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys this alternate build here. It's of 75280, the Fire First Legion Clone Troopers Battle Pack, the original Fire First Battle Pack. This was designed by Three Lights Blue on YouTube. And I'm really excited to show it to you guys. It's an AAT, basically a droid battle pack. Starting off with the side builds, you got this little droidica, which I mean, I. I could have done without, but Three Lies Blue likes to use up all his pieces, and I don't, I don't judge him. This, this Jordica doesn't look best though. It looks a little bit funny. The other side build is this Stap Speeder, which does have a stand. It looks a little bit bulky, but I don't think it looks too bad. I think I, I kind of like it. I'm definitely gonna keep it in my uh, droid army. It, yeah, it's a little bit wide, but it does fit a minifigure just nice. Now to the main attraction, the AAT. It's definitely quite small for an AAT. I like to think of it more as a smaller, lighter. Uh, weapon AAT more for like small jobs not necessarily where you need a big AAT there is no bottom hatch there is a top hatch though that actually works so that's really cool it doesn't the top doesn't really spin that much and you might kind of knock the cannons off the cannons are on this the side cannons are on this weird spot I kind of like to put them just in the center there because they sit better and it's not getting knocked into like that and as you can see it doesn't look too weird you can see the bottom is quite hollow but that's fine it still looks pretty good and you can't tell from the top this barrel is nice nice size uh, cannon for the top of the AT this top is quite fragile and coming off but it's fine you just kind of plop it right back on and that's because that it's only held on by one jumper stud and now I'll show you the top hatch it can lift up like this you can you can lift the top up if you want to keep it up and then the way to fit a minifigure in is you kind of take this off and then you're gonna kind of stick your battle droid right on the stud like that and you can either depending on if you want the top up you can leave the head up or put it down he's supposed to clip onto these pieces here but I can't really get him to do that it's just not the right size so I just gotta kinda put his hands down and then you put it on just like that you either have him sticking up or you tilt his head down and you can put the hatch down. You don't have to stick him on the stud, but I do because then it just keeps him in place real nice. Now you just put the top back on like that. And there are a couple fragile pieces like that. It's it's definitely not the most sturdy build ever, but I think it's really nice and I'm definitely going to keep it built cuz I mean, I don't I don't love the original ATRT or Bark Speeder and I really like this. If you guys want to build it for yourself, I'll definitely link in the description below. Overall, I think this is a really good alternate build. I'm really satisfied with it and I really hope you guys like it too. If you guys enjoyed this video, please throw me a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate any subscriptions, anything like that. I would I'd really love that. Comment down below what you guys thought of this alternate build. I'm curious to hear your opinion on it. Comment down below any alternate build you think I should make on my videos. And I'd really appreciate that. And I'll probably do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time on Cowboy Bricks.